everybody, and welcome back to a totally unplanned Wheel of Time video. Now, typically I don't do news videos or respond super quickly to like the breaking news stuff, but this one had me so excited I had to respond. So again, if you don't know this, they released a teaser, a little audio clip on the Amazon Prime Twitter and Instagram handles. It's awesome. We get to hear a little bit of audio. There's a little graphic with it. In this video, we're going to break that down. We're going to talk about what we're hearing, what we're looking at, and what it all might mean. Now, before getting into the clip and before the spoiler warning, I want to give a quick thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring the channel. They are offering my viewers a very special, huge discount on VPN services. If you use the internet in any way, shape, or form, in any capacity, online banking, anything, you need a VPN to protect yourself. They're going to give it to you for only a couple bucks a month. It's pretty dumb not to have one. You should have a VPN. Nord is one of the best services out there. I've had them for years. I've used them. I don't get on the internet without it. Really, really smart. You all should grab it. Click the discount code in the description of this video. Just click that link. It'll take you to the site. You can get the discounted VPN service. You can learn about what a VPN is if you don't know. Check it out. It's only a couple bucks a month. Now, let me throw up a spoiler warning on the video. This video is going to carry a spoiler rating of red with major spoilers, but only running through Eye of the World. I don't think there's going to be anything here that's going to spoil you past the first book of the series. So if you haven't read the first book, go read it and come back and watch this. If you have read it, you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and play the clip here and we'll just break it down. I'm also going to get into analyzing Rafe's comments on Instagram uh, in his post about the clip. So let's go ahead and get into the clip. You ready? No. Me either. We know from Madeline Madden's Instagram comments that the audio is of her as Egwene and Marcus Rutherford as Perrin. So obviously Marcus only has one line and a very short one, one word line that is, and Egwene only has two lines. But let's really actually start by looking at the background noise, and maybe that'll give us some context as to where the dialogue might be taking place. Now, if you listen carefully in the background, you're going to hear a number of things going on. First of all, there's a consistent banging sound that sounds like metal on metal. Now, at first, I thought this was the clanging of swords. But after listening to it about 50 to 100 to 200 to lots of times, I think it's too consistent and regular for that. I think that what we're hearing is the clanging of a blacksmith's hammer against an anvil or some type of metal banging on metal. We'll come back to that in a minute, though. Secondly, in the background, you can hear some screams and shouts. These appear to be looped uh, as though the same clip is playing multiple times. Uh, but slightly modified. There are men shouting and women screaming. It's unclear what this could be, but we'll do some speculation here in a minute. Additionally, in the background, you can hear what sounds like the rumbling of thunder. Again, we'll get to talking about what that might be. And then, of course, we have the dialogue. We have a female voice, one again that we know to be of Egwene, talking to another person or asking another person, I should say, if they're ready in a very breathy tone, like she's almost out of breath. Then we have the other person, who again we know to be Perrin, saying no to answer the question in an equally out of breath type of tone. And then lastly, Egwene says, me either before the music crescendos up and the clip ends. So before we get into breaking this down and speculating on what the scene might be, let's also take a moment about the graphic that's playing during the audio. And it appears to be a liquid of some sort coalescing into the symbol of the Aes Sedai as the clip moves along. And so what does this mean? I don't see any super meaningful thing in it as though it represents something that's happening in the audio of the clip, but I do think that this is generally there to be a teaser to the Wheel of Time show, again, showing the Aes Sedai logo and teasing the Wheel of Time in general. And I think it's meant to give us a visual that gets us excited, but without giving too many spoilers. And let me tell you, at least for me, that totally worked. I am jacked. As we, as we're watching that graphic gradually turn into the Aes Sedai logo during the clip, I was literally getting giddy. Uh, now, again, it's nerdy AF, but I can't help it. You know, to me, it's sort of like this is finally happening. We've known about it for years now, and I've been talking about it and covering it, but like, damn, this is real. Uh, I couldn't be more pumped. Now, let's move on to Rafe's Instagram comments and post with the clip. Now, he posted this to his Instagram. He posted the same clip and Rafe asked the question, ready for what? Can you guess? 
If someone does get it right, post it in the comments here in the next two hours. And sorry, guys, if you're watching this video, it's too late. I will fly you out to Prague and have dinner with you next year. Genuinely. Now, he lays it out. He's given the challenge. And I've seen people speculating in those comments. And I want to take a minute to try to piece together what all this might mean, what this scene actually is. Uh, and then we can kind of speculate. So I'm going to start with a couple assumptions. Now, we're going to talk about what happens if my assumptions are wrong after this. But let's first assume that the audio is from the same scene. All of the audio that we're hearing is from the same scene. I don't think that that's a sure thing, by the way. I think there's a lot of things that could kind of be pieced together. But we'll talk about that here in a second. But assuming that these are all from the same scene, what we know is that there's only a couple scenes in the books where Perrin and Egwene would be together in the vicinity of other groups of people, of men and women, in some type of threatening situation that would explain all kind of the chaos that we hear in the background. So I'm going to lay out four of them that I think are possible. Number one, Emmons Field on winter night. Now, we don't see the attack on the village during the books, but the odds are we will see that during the show. So this could be people screaming and running around in the background some battles potentially happening, general chaos, all of that, and then Perrin and Egwene getting ready to run or to get to safety or something like that. It's very possible that that's what we're hearing. Another option would be escaping Shadar Logov, although this seems like a less likely option to me. It makes sense from a dialogue standpoint. Egwene and Perrin are getting ready to either make a run for it. All of that would make sense in terms of being out of breath. All that makes sense. But the people in the background screaming don't really follow. I, I highly doubt that Moraine is running around screaming bloody murder. I don't believe Nynaeve is either. And those are the only women there other than Egwene. It just doesn't sound like that's the background that makes sense with Shadar Logoth. A third option would be them leaving the Tinker Camp. Now, I know this takes a bit of guessing because we don't actually see this in the books. But what if Egwene and Perrin had talked about maybe leaving the Tinkers because they're so peaceful and they've got these Shadowspawn chasing them? And then the Shadowspawn attack the camp. There's chaos. Perrin and Egwene are like, are you ready? Let's go. And they run away. What if that's it? It would make some sense to me. That's not in the books. And so that explains a little bit of Rafe's comments, which we'll get to in a minute. But that would make some sense in terms of the screaming. Now, a fourth option would be the rescue at the White Cloak camp. The thunder would be consistent with Moraine causing the distraction and calling the storm. The men yelling makes sense as White Cloaks would be yelling. And Perrin and Egwene's little comments would make sense. Now, the thing that doesn't make sense, though, is women screaming in the background. I don't believe that there are any women in the White Cloak camp. Maybe there will be. I don't know. But why would they be screaming? I think the most likely of these options is the Tinker Camp. But I'm curious what you all think. Now, another thing to consider here is that what we're getting is a couple bits of audio that are being combined into one from separate scenes. The screaming in the background sounds like it's on a loop, meaning it's being repeated over and over again, at least slightly different. And if that is the case, then this is not a live scene that we're hearing with all this stuff together, but rather a mishmash of different audio clips. For all we know, the different or the separate pieces of dialogue could also be from separate scenes. That's done in movie previews all the time. And if that is the case, the only relevant clip here to answering Rafe's question about, you know, are you ready or ready for what? It would be Egwene's comments. Are you ready? That's the only relevant clip that would be there. And your guess is as good as mine if that's the case. I'm strongly leaning towards the audio being from the Tinker Camp and an attack on it, but I could be pretty much convinced of anything here. The only thing that really pushes me towards the Tinker Camp is that Rafe seems really confident here to the point that he's going to fly someone out to dinner in Prague that no one's going to get it right. That means it's probably not an obvious thing like Emmonsfield or Shadar Logoth or the White Coat Camp, but that's just my guess. What do you all think of the audio clip? What do you think we're hearing? Let's get the speculation going rampant in the comments below. Are you more excited now or less excited? If you are, do you have a heartbeat? Who knows? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to join the Discord server so you can have conversations with us about this. The link is in the description of this video. You don't have to know much about Discord. Just click it and it'll walk you through it. You can also follow me on Twitter at BlissNay to see a lot of the conversations surrounding the show, be updated when I release clips, and just generally follow stuff I post. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel to be updated when I release more Wheel of Time content. That's all I do here. And so if you like the Wheel of Time, subscribe to the channel. A lot of you that watch this, these videos are not subscribed. And so get off your butt and do it. Subscribe to the channel. Also, if you didn't see, I'm going to be doing tons of live streams and game show type content on Twitch here starting on Sunday. You can follow my Twitch channel at Wattenablis or click the link in the description of the video. We're going to have tons of live and interactive Wheel of Time stuff. Should be a good time. Come nerd out with us and start by following me there. Again, you don't have to know much about Twitch. Click the link, follow, make an account. 
and join us when you get an update. So guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do. Mistress up above, slipping on the rope of blue. She prances down the staircase, a fancy oh so free. Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?